There's our sound. There's our sound. Yep. All right. What's up? Turn down for what? What's up? Audio lives. Is this a bit? Sound well, works which, now. Which part? Great. Uh, so the, these are these technical difficulties. I, as technically speaking, those were technical difficulties, but they were for the greater good as Rich and I recently switched over to a new streaming software that we are testing out right now. It's too loud. No, it's fine. Well, that's never going to be perfect. It's too loud. We did recordings and it didn't seem too loud. Actually, we did recordings and it seemed too soft. Yeah. This is a weird thing. So we fear change. Yes. Yeah. We, we've... We're, we're testing out tonight X Split as... It's a different bit of streaming software than what we've been using for three years. Right. And so we're going to... Uh, we're going to see if it's working. Audio is fine. Audio is good. No, and you know, OBS works for us. OBS works... You'll have to tell me if the oh my gods are too loud because I actually... We might need to rework those. Rich is loud? What am I ever not loud? Right? We're all good. Hey, you figured it out. Oh my god, it's perfect. Great. Well, fucking great. Welcome. Well, no, the uh when I when I did my solo Lego sorting stream on Sunday. Oh, yeah, you redid the Oh my god. Uh well, I just had it everything hooked up to my MacBook like yeah, it always has yeah. been. But apparently in the Mac version of OBS Studio, there's no way to adjust the sound of those. Oh, yeah? Huh. And so uh, it was crazy loud. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because it's incredibly loud. Then, right. Oh, my God. The original recording. And I tried several things to fix that, and nothing worked. And so it was just very, very loud for people for the <laughs> entire three hours of sorting Legos. <laughs> so there you go. Oh, good, good. Great. It was so loud, and I'm very, very sorry about that, but there was nothing I could do. I actually just tried to, in fact, just turn the whole thing off, and it wouldn't. It just kept <laughs> happening you, every you time. You could not stop it, I huh? could not stop it. I'm sorry. It's all right. How'd the Lego sorting stream go? Um, uh, I probably won't do it again. Yeah. Uh, mostly because, well, well, or maybe. It's like there's a lot of technical problems. Like, really, it was three hours. I got a lot of Lego sorting. <laughs> Uh, we talked about some nonsense and I drank some beers, so it was fine. But uh, my audio setup wasn't great, and so I was kind of quiet. The oh my gods were really loud. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. It didn't work perfectly, but, you know, Biscuit was there. That's right. Biscuit was there. People love Biscuit, so it was me. And, well, and, like, the other thing I'll need to figure out is, like, I'll, I'll need, like, a ch I need a chair because I was sitting on the floor while sorting Legos for three hours so you need a table i need a table and i have a table in the basement so i need a way to set everything up on a table you you sound like you're going to do this again uh i have no immediate plans to do it anytime soon but if it arises again i want to do it better all right so why doesn't the new version of twitch not show current number of viewers it doesn't I don't uh, refresh your page I don't know I don't know and, well see here's here's the thing Rich I put it to a vote yeah and and I gave people three choices because you know you had to work that night so I was yeah. doing a Jack yeah. Solo stream so I put it to Twitter I said Jack Solo stream you get three choices you get Heat Signature yeah a brand new game you get PUBG with the chat oh my god I would. I, I did it. I put it out there. I said, yeah, oh absolutely. Oh, my Hug God. Me. Or you can watch me sort my children's Legos. And Legos won. And these bastards chose Lego sorting. <laughs> and I'm talking like... <laughs> I, the, it was over... It was 10% over. Where it, over 1,000 people voted, 46% wanted Lego sorting, and only 30-some wanted PUBG as the next. All right. All right. Right. Uh, so here we have, uh, we're going to play a little heat signature. 
uh, tonight because uh, uh, Rich Thank likes you. the concept of it. Uh, so let's hit play and see if it automatically shows up on XSplit. Oh my god, it does. Hey! Alright, yeah. so what what is this game? So this game is a little bit amazing. It is... Uh, I'm assuming you've played it some. I've played it some. I have a few hours in. It's Hotline Miami by way of FTL. Okay. So you have you can pick... Well, and you know, actually, we, we can start, and I think... You, yeah, you can replay the tutorial. So it's Hotline Miami by way of X FTL, where at any point... You can pause the game and set up actions. Uh -huh. And then once you do the action, it unpauses, but you can pause again immediately. And so why don't we just have you play the tutorial and uh, and see how you like all it. All right, all right. Yeah. Here, take this. Okay, here we go. Epidox says, I voted Legos as a joke and then saw it was winning. Yeah. Oh, actually, Rich, why don't you head over to Exploit there and just turn the game audio down because it's probably it's probably significantly loud. Whoa. Oh, okay. I just clicked on it once and it went all the way down. Yeah, like probably there is good. There? Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's very loud. Yep. Right. I think that's the same with a lot of elections not just brexit some people might have made some bad decisions but that's fine that's fine you know why because we had a decent time sorting legos we talked about some nonsense and that's all that matters okay oh. I, I expect the lines to be like you know the, the thrust uh. i expect to be going the other way well, it's space. You got you got momentum here, you know. And there were zero spiders encountered for my Lego sorting stream. I had my uh, little vacuum downstairs with me just in case a spider popped up. No, I keep getting backwards. Thank you. Uh, oh, there's a break. Yeah. That would help. There you go. That's a pretty good break. Uh, yep. Whoa, how do I dock? I just hit the... Oh, is that a car I hit on? No. You're hitting the spaceship. Uh, do you see the... the lo there's a little arrow over there. Oh, so you're going over here. Yeah. Thank you. That's interesting. Mm-hmm. You can click the items in this list to teleport them to you. Uh, so down there, teleport items on this ship to you. Is that here? No, on the item. Where's the item? Uh, by the way, so this is what, to me, makes this game so interesting. <laughs> okay. Is I think the premise is fantastic but the user interface is possibly one of the worst I've ever encountered. So hit pause again. The So the items are underneath there. Like, go go down. Go down. That. That's, that's the key. Item. Yeah, those are the items. What's this? Uh, it's a non-lethal melee weapon. Left to click face breaker to make it your main attack. Yep, so that's how you equip stuff, is you right or left click on it. What's right click? Do you want to equip it? No, that just equips it to right click. Oh, okay. So then if you have two weapons, you know. Yep. Doors lock, take his gun. Nice. Right click gun to. Oh, 
applause a lot, as long as you like to, right? <laughs> okay, so now you see the gun. Oh, the zoom is fantastic. Oh, yes, yeah, you need the zoom. Sorry, I should have told you about that. Um, oh, they, they just told you about that. And so you, if you see that gun has a bit of a red, so that means you just use your gun so it has a cooldown, but you can set up your face breaker. Thank you. To, to, hit, him with your, to hit him with your regular click. Guards, okay, guards sound the alarm if they hear a shot, find a body, or see you. If the countdown hits zero, you'll be captured. Where's the countdown? What is the countdown? Um, I don't know, unpause. Taking out the captain cancels the countdown. Uh, there's no countdown, this is just the tutorial. Actually, we're watching this on a big screen TV, and I want to make the text larger. It's it, not just you? It, it has one of the worst user interfaces. You, see, you, you can't increase the size of that text. You can't. Not that I know of. Oh, that's awful. Yes. And there's a lot of text, and it's not laid out in any particular, particularly easy-to-read fashion. That's It's one of the biggest problems with the game. Once you can get over that, and it takes a while to get over that... You can do some really cool stuff. All right, how do I take the helm? Uh, oh, if, you see, it's a tiny little thing. It says E, if you press the E. F, is that F? F I can't, I yep. can't even read that. Yeah, right. And we're watching this sound like a huge TV. On a giant screen that's not very far away from us, yep. Gotta be like a, a, a maybe lower the resolution. That's a fantastic idea. Ooh, sure. Nice bad Milo. Nice idea. Uh, Rich can't talk too much about Star Trek, and I blame myself. Whoop. Because I haven't. Seen it. Why am I shooting myself into space? This seems stupid. That seems absolutely stupid. Sure does. Uh, you, you, look, you, Star Trek Discovery, without spoilers, is everything I thought it was going to be. Uh huh. A a dour drama with a focus on action over any substance, and with a main character you, you just want to see die. A completely unlikable, utterly, hopelessly unlikable main character. And Horenzi, I see. And she's the, like 100% the focus yeah. of everything. It's horrible. <laughs> Horenzi, it's not on Netflix here in the States. I have to pay... Six dollars a month for CBS All Access. No, it w it wasn't social social justice warrior propaganda. Uh. Star Trek has always been diverse. It's just a really <laughs> a fucking really shitty, unlikable main character, and yeah. there are no other crew members that could focus on. Oh, well, there you go. So I'm not look necessarily looking forward to it. I, I'm waiting for maybe another episode to come out, and I bet they have some sort of free trial. So I'll at least watch the first, like, three episodes and and then cancel my CBS All Access. Basically, uh, imagine House if, if House weren't interesting or funny. Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> but how, House is a horrible asshole. <laughs> if the show wasn't interesting or funny, I probably wouldn't like it very much. <laughs> That's that's how I feel about Discovery. Also, yeah. it's the absolute blandest version, blandest, blandest version of the Klingons we've ever seen. That's too bad. They, I'm, I'm very sorry. They take War of the Chosen to the next level. Honor <laughs> and fighting and honor. I fight with honor. Poor reasons for doing things. Yes, we fight. Culture. Honor. Culture. Honor. Culture. Fight. Fight your honor, culture, Rich. 
even blander than TOS. TOS Klingons were were mustache twirling villains. <laughs> they were. They were. They were yeah. devious, deceitful. Uh -huh. They were just generic villains. Like the, the Klingons, you know, are nothing like the TOS Klingons. <laughs> the Klingons have changed a lot, and this is just another change. It's just. It's not a change for the better. It's a change for the blander. Oh. Okay. All right. Well, yeah, I'm sorry we can't get in more into it. I will watch it, and Rich and I will have a more in-depth conversation. But I didn't get around to it. I'm sorry. I had to... Uh, I was busy watching other things because I, I recently filmed a thing. pause yeah no i like flying through space okay so i was busy watching a couple other things that i needed to walk i'm gonna fuck around see if i can get the text bigger oh sure the uh graphics no resolution wait changing the resolution is not an option it's just not an option what Well, look at that. Is there a main menu that the game started in that we skipped? No, no. It, it goes right into the game when you start it? And you can't change the resolution. And the text is hopelessly small. Huh. God, that's horrible. A really bad user interface, Rich. A really very bad user interface. Change the OS resolution then for a game that's really annoying. And here, here's what I'm. Here's what I'll say. Is that might fuck with the stream. I don't want to do that. That could fuck with the stream. And also, once you get, once you know the controls, it's really less of an issue. But UI is hard to do. I know UI is hard to do. And I think this game is made by literally one person. It's the same person who made um, Gunpoint. Yeah. And so I think it's just a one person game. And the game itself is interesting and can be really exciting if you can get over the utterly, utterly garbage user interface. So. All right. Why aren't you guys playing the new cartoony PUBG? Because this sounded good to Rich. What is cartoony PUBG? Well, hey, we'll talk about that right now. Um, so. Click to remote control your pod is what that says, Rich. The, the cursor's so tiny. And now you get to catch yourself. All right, all Which, right. by the way, uh, so this whole game is all about uh, boarding people's ships and then, you know, stealing stuff or, or completing a task, right? And so a viable strategy can be to fling yourself out the window so you can catch yourself, which is really neat. Uh, okay, so Fortnite Battle Royale. Have you ever played a Fortnite game? A, a game called Fortnite? Sounds familiar. It's it's a game, and it's, it's all about, like, build, you know, like, using resources and build. It's like a third-person shooter, and you okay. build stuff. They have a free-to-play version that is Fortnite Battle Royale. And in other words, it is exactly PUBG, but with Fortnite. Huh. Up to the fact that you are on a an island to start with. It's a hundred players. They drop you. They drop you from a, a floating thing. You go down to a city. It has a parachute thing. It's exactly PUBG. Okay. Exactly, PUBG, but with fort with fort building, and so at any point, like if you gather enough resources, you could build a little wall for cover. Okay, okay. I played it a little bit. It's also free to play, so it's like, well, fuck, I'll play that a little bit. Yeah. Uh, I got a couple hours into it, and it has some pros and some cons. One pro, that's also a con. There's no hiding in the grass. Mm -hmm. Which is a con, because, you know, hiding the grass is kind of fun. Right. The pro is, you usually know who kills you and how they killed you. 
right? <laughs> um, they simplify a few things, like instead of instead of like memorizing the numbers for like what bullets go with what guns, they just have three bullet sizes: small bullet, large bullet, and explosive round. And so, like that's it. If you got a handgun, if you got a small machine gun, small bullet. If you got a big machine gun, big bullet. If you have a grenade launcher, a missile launcher, explosive round. Boom, that's it. Hide the bush! That's right, my mad bush strat. So it's PUBG for dummies? Kind of. It's kind of PUBG for dummies, except for the collecting resources and building forts aspect of it. It, it actually takes the whole born inside the white circle thing to a whole new level. Because it also has, you know, a shrinking map. Except for they call it the Eye of the Storm, not the Blue Line of Death. Uh, but if, you, if you're inside the Eye of the Storm, you can actually, like, really hunker down, fortify, like, build a fort someplace. Like, really kind of make a little fortress. But, uh... I have no idea what I'm supposed to do. Oh, you're, you're supposed to retire. How do I retire? There you go, like that. Ow! Okay, so now you choose your person. And if you look on the left here, each person starts with a different... Oh, so you don't play as that character. That character was just tutorial? Okay. Yeah. And so your characters are procedurally generated. And so, like, that, has, that person has a sword and a, a knockout gun, a concussive gun. That's not a bad thing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, a wrench knocks people out. No gun. No gun. Uh, key cloners are pretty nice, though. Shotgun long blade. This looks interesting. It's a shame I am so deep into War of the Chosen. Oh. Which, d despite, despite my love-hate relationship with the uh, fatigue system, I do like War of the Chosen. Okay. I have, I have two deaths in this current run. My mojo's back. No, no, that's good. Oh, okay. Two that's... deaths is really good. Okay. And I got two of the chosen dead. Wait, which one are the chosen? The the lame villains that they introduced. Okay. The the, the boss the, the boss battles in XCOM two. Oh, so you got two of them down. I got two of them down. That's great. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, that's great. Rich was actually playing XCOM when I got in today. <laughs> <laughs> but. We had some work to do. We had a, a little bit of the room to clean up. We had an X split to download, all that fun stuff, so. If if this gets tiresome, Rich can just play more XCOM. I, I think you should probably play this for a bit. My head is not here right now. Okay. I can see the I can see where this would be really interesting. Well, let's just have you do one yeah, mission. Yeah, that sounds fine. Where do, how do I... Go easy. Yeah. So, steal the Esterling prototype. And so, like, again, horrible UI, right? Yeah, like... Uh... Like, they, they just throw this information at you in in such an inelegant fashion. Like, guard... I mean, that's... I'm assuming that that's the kind of guards who are there. Those are the kind and of... And what they're armed with. Right, exactly. And then if you go to mission details, like, if you trigger the alarm... This needs to be in a box that says mission details. Mm -hmm. And the text needs to be, you know, like, readable. Right in the middle of the screen. <laughs> oh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> this this could take up half the screen right now. Yeah. Or maybe the whole screen. You click on it and it goes, bloop, 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 mission details. Yeah. Maybe get a little fun little animation. That'd be great. <laughs> You're not selling... I'm not selling this game because we're not playing it yet. Wait until you get into the actual level. I think this is why you need to play because you, know, yeah. you have an idea what you're doing. That's yeah. why I don't like playing games the first time on stream. Oh, okay, sure. Well, yeah, if you want me to. Especially if it's something a little bit, you know, complicated. You want me to take over? Uh, yeah, actually, I do. Okay. I do. That's fine. Here, take this. Whoa. It doesn't do the game any favors. It doesn't do us any favors. And sure. We have no idea what we're doing and playing it for the first time. Oh, yeah. No, and I've been playing for a while, so I know what I'm doing. Just got to get my... If you guys watch the Orville, I think Rich would probably like it more than Discovery. That is true. I still think the Orville is very flawed. Very flawed. It's got... It's got tone issues. Oh, that's a good way to put it. That's a fine way. Some... It, it has Seth MacFarlane issues. You can be a a, a a comedy, you can be a drama, you can be a blend of both. 
but don't switch. Now we're a comedy, and then bloop, now we're dramatic. Right? I don't know. I'll... It's like it's like when they do a joke, and it's like the only joke you see in the episode. There's like two jokes in an episode, and it's like out of place. It's like what? Well, and you know what? All their jokes are like pop culture, or, or you know, '90s, 2000 pop culture reference, which I get. Like that's their audience. These characters would not be making 400-year-old pop culture references, and only specifically 400-year-old pop culture references. Right? Not 300-year-old pop culture references to them, or 200-year-old pop culture. Specifically, they only reference the 21st century. Right. Oh, well, that was easy. And it's really weird for them to do that. It is. Every episode, they seem to reference something from our, you know, last couple of decades, and it's it's really upsetting. But, like, this last episode was, again, pretty Star Trek-y. Like, it was dealing with some bigger themes, oh, it's, some alien... It's more of a Star Trek show than Discovery. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm willing. I'm willing to give. Uh, uh, or, or I'm willing to wait on Orville because you know season one of TNG pretty bad. Sure. Pretty bad. They took them a while to get their shit together. Maybe it's the same thing here. I don't know. Discovery ain't gonna do it. You don't think? We'll see once we get to the actual pilot episode and not the the two episode preamble to a pilot episode. You know, that's the thing that gets me most. Oh, that's good. Yeah. I'm, 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 I'm giving, I'm giving Discovery two more episodes at most. Okay. But those first two episodes, oh my god, I did not like. I did not like it. I'm very sorry, Rich. Uh, so in this, in this, is a brutal, is a brutal fist fight near the end of episode two, and I'm. Just, how is this Star Trek? How has Star Trek come to this? There's a brutal... Well, well brutal, yeah. gory fist fight with swords and... Uh, you know, I to be fair, uh, Kirk fought the Gorn. Uh, <laughs> wasn't a bloody, brutal fist fight, but television standards have certainly changed. Star Trek ever really referenced literature and things from after the 21st century? Well, it's hard to do because... You know, they actually don't have a 22nd century to reference, you know? They, they, they make up names and things now and then. They do do that. Oh, of course they do. Like, this poet wrote in, you know, 20... 2104. Right. This is this is our, our clan's most famous poet. But obviously it's vague, because they're just making shit up. Right. And they'll usually throw it in with, like, a reference to something we do know. Like, with, you know, Abraham Lincoln with the Gettysburg Address, or Fritzmann Hoopja at the at the oration at uh, Montgomery 5. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what they do. That's yeah. great. God forbid Star Trek expand its repertoire and try injecting something new into the show. What? Dumb action? Finally, Rich. They've finally interjected dumb action. A shitty main, unlikable main character? Wow. Groundbreaking. What discovery? You know, Deep Space Nine did a war in space. And they did it, like, very intelligently. Uh-huh. Like, like, seasons worth of diplomacy to try and stop the war from happening before they actually did it? Deep Space Nine was extremely smart about doing Star Trek with war. Discovery was not. It's very cinematic. Visually, it's gorgeous. 
Oh, that, so that's something. Yeah, that's something. It's, <laughs> not, it's, it's something largely superficial. Sure, sure. But it, it, cinematically, yeah. cinema, a cinematographer is watching that going, yeah. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Rich, are there any positive aspects of this show? There you go. Great cinematography. <laughs> Discovery is bland Star Wars. It's like you take all the fun out of Star Wars. Yeah, that's that's about what Discovery is. Imagine uh, JJ Trek without the light, fun heart, ha light-hearted, fun tone. You suck that out of it. Oh my God! That's, and that's the only that's thing discovery. That made, that's the only thing that made JJ Trek. That's tolerable. discovery. Oh. Well, that, you, there you go. Why didn't you fly the ship back? I don't think it gives me anything extra. I guess it might, but I don't know. After, if you if you take over a ship, like you can just kill everyone on board yeah. and fly the ship back to your base, and it might give you extra money, but I don't think it does. Okay. So I just took my pod back. Was there any good reason not to? I guess not. If you kill, if everyone's dead. How was the music in the show, Rich? Oh, the opening credits are hysterical with how horribly they contrast with the show itself. This is kind of hopeful. Do, 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 shots, of the beauty shots of the Discovery, almost, Discovery almost like like drawings show. though of it. And oh, do, 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 then yeah, you get yeah. to the show and it's. Too bad, Rich. Maybe they'll find it. Whoa. That was nothing. Were you upset that the Klingons were no longer sporting silly haircuts? No, I was more upset that they were bland. With motivations that were just stupid. They they are completely uninteresting. Like TNG managed to have some pretty neat uh, Klingon politics episodes in Worf. Sure, sure. Ooh, yeah. Now we're getting some good stuff. Discovery is just, our religion tells us to do this. We're going to do it. Sure. Hi. Oh, that's... Hi, people. That's interesting. No. Check this out. So I need this key. This guard has a key card. He has a level two key card, right? So here's what I'm going to do. This is, this is where the game starts to get a little fun. I'm going to use my long range swapper and swap with this guy right here. Ready? And then pause again and then take my long blade here and kill it. Boom. Cool. Yeah, so it can lead to some really interesting tactics. Yeah. Nice. Hide the bodies, because if uh, if the enemy discovers bodies, so they- you can pick up the bodies. Yeah. How do you hide them specifically? Well, just kind of, you know, like this guy's just out in the open, so okay. I'm gonna put him over here in this like alcove thing. Okay. There's no, there's no, like, chambers or anything. All right, let's see what we got here. Okay, my mission is to assassinate this person. Who else is over here? Just the captain. They turned them into less interesting Jem Hadar. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Jem Hadar? From Deep Space Nine. Oh, okay. The warriors that the Dominion used.
Chad, if you're looking for uplifting, Star Trek Discovery is certainly not the place to get it. Too bad. Rich, are you going to continue watching Star Trek Discovery? I, 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 I one or two more episodes. Give it a chance. Because like I said, this doesn't feel like the actual pilot to the show. The, the first two episodes feel like the the backstory <laughs> to what's going to end up being the real pilot. Oh. Uh. That's the part that's most upsetting. You were telling me about that earlier. And, uh... Okay, that's good. You were telling me about that earlier, and it's like, you know, the, the, you're two episodes in, and it doesn't even feel like the show got started yet. Yeah. It's like, we gotta, we gotta move here. Yeah. So long, pilot. This is, you know, it, it, this should have been flashbacks interspersed throughout the rest of the show. Yeah. Well, how did our main character get in this predicament? And we've, well, we, we learn a little bit more each episode. Sure. That's what this should have been. Yes. Yeah. Now we're, we're starting off, and I already hate her. <laughs> I see no redemption. I have no interest in seeing any kind of redemption. She's horrible. Yeah, well. I want her to suffer. That's how I'm starting the show. I want to see the main character suffer. And I think that's what that's what they want? I don't no. know. <laughs> <laughs> no, of course. That's not what they want. Of course that's not what they want. That's silly. Rich hates Michael. I do. I despise Michael. For anyone who's mildly confused, her name is Michael. What? Her name is a boy's name? <laughs> Isn't it Miko though? No, it's Michael. Yeah, they just call her Michael? They just call her Michael. Like not Michelle or Mitchell. Even Mitchell might be a girl's <laughs> name. I don't know. Just Michael. Is it spelled weird? I haven't seen it spelled. I've just heard people call her by name. Michael? We'll try a hard mission. I've been playing. I've been playing a lot, so we're gonna try a hard mission here. In the future, Michael is also a girl's name, and it's not a big deal. It's just. Oh yeah. If you if you're talking to somebody, it might be weird. Well, that, like that. Wait, I, wait. I her was, name's Michael. What? I was making a big deal. Right, because... right. <laughs> Can they shoot you while you're trying to talk? If, if you go if you go into these, they shoot you down. But uh, like you you would think that if you, if uh, you clink on the ship enough, eventually they'll, the guards will just be alerted. So far, I haven't noticed that. But who who is John and why is his cock so hot? Me wonder. Uh, I I hope people get the joke. I didn't at first. You had to explain it to me. <laughs> but you liked it after I explained it. Oh, yeah. Okay. This game is called... What is this called? Heat Signature. Heat Signature. What's another What's what, What's another name for a signature? What do they call that? Uh, it, it's your John Hancock. Mm-hmm. So a Heat Signature would be a John Hotcock. That's why I titled the stream... John Hotcock. All right. So here's here. This will be a, oh shit. This will be a fun one. So see these two guards here. They're out in the open, and there's not a lot of ways I can get to them because this guy has a shield. So he can reflect all my bullets, right? But 
what I have is a teleporter. A wrench and a long blade. So I'm going to use my teleporter to teleport right next to these motherfuckers. Pause. Use my long blade on this motherfucker. Which didn't seem to work. I was looking at chat. Was there something I needed to see? No, I'm just I'm just kind of explaining to people yeah, what's going yeah. on in case they are curious. I guess I'll take my silenced gun and shoot this guy. But where do you see this alarm that supposedly goes up that we have to worry about a certain number being gotten to? I haven't been um, caught yet, so where is it? Does it, does it, it? So it just doesn't show up in general. his blue shield here. Usually my... Also, I'm about to get kicked off the ship. Great. Shit. You know, it didn't raise the alarm. It probably should have. Right. But here's the thing. They just kicked me off the ship, so I can actually come back to the ship. The alarm should be on top, but I didn't see it. Thank you. So don't know why my... Chad, I have not seen any new DuckTales episodes yet, other than the first one. I'm, I kind of want to wait till there's a bunch of them. Sure. I binge watch most things. Yeah. Alright, I just... One of my one of my weapons here is a key cloner, which is just if I get close enough to a key, I can make a copy of it without having to kill him. Because apparently this guy, guards patrolling, has seen you. Shield reflects all. Oh, shield reflects all incoming attacks. Well, shit. Yes, Vulcans have have ghost mind meld powers now. Ghost mind meld. Uh, yes, Sarek, but not Sarek. Mind melds with Michael from. Halfway across the galaxy? I don't... It doesn't make any fucking sense. If you want the Star Trek to be mindful of, like, the rules and science they've established... Yeah. No. Alright. Uh, he's gonna mind meld with Michael. From where? From Vulcan? From Vulcan? No more screens. Pure holograms all the way. See this? This doesn't bother me. Like, like I am fully cognizant of the fact that uh, the future, even if it takes place before the original series, the bridge can't be all knobs. Say that again. The bridge the, can't. The bridge be all... can't be all knobs. Our our idea of what is futuristic has changed. Like, in, in Next Gen, when they had the iPads, that was future tech, man. Yeah. Now it's just, yeah, it's a fucking iPad. There's nothing futuristic about that. I can understand why they went with the full holograms, and that is one of the things in the show that did not bother me, and I thought it was neat. A lot of, a lot of the communication and the discovery happens with just full-on holograms. Instead of, like, being on a view screen, you'll be talking to that person's hologram in the room with you. Oh. I, it didn't bother me. I understand visually you need to update Star Trek's idea of what the future is. I get it. I had an idea of something I wanted to try to assassinate this person and it didn't really work. That's enough, I'm done with Discovery. I don't want to spoil something. It is still a brand new show, and you will you will hear my, more of my thoughts on it later. We are gonna try this mission until we fucking get it right. You hear that, fuckers? I'm coming for you again.
you watching any other TV shows? I... Any show watching... Most of the show watching I do comes in bin, binge watching after a season's done. Though I'm looking forward to Stranger Things Season 2. I'm not as excited as I was for Seasons 1 and 2, but I still want to watch Ash vs. Evil Dead Season 3. Sure. Which we've not heard hardly anything about. Which is weird. Which is uh, concerning. Oh yeah, and Rick and Morty. I guess I've been watching that. Come here and get me. Come here and get me. No, I, I think I'm I'm behind an episode or two right now. <clears throat> Alright, where do I... I'm looking at chat, uh, at the tips. Thank you. Say the 27th? <clears throat> Today the 27th, Jack? Today is the 27th. Oh, God, I am so far behind. Today is the 27th. Okay, so if you notice what I just did here. Yeah. I am out in space with my assassination target because my target had on a shield to protect itself from all weapons. And so I made my target follow me into a room with a window and broke the window, hurtling us both okay. into space. And now I can remote control my pod to pick me up. Does he just suffocate or something? Uh, eventually, I assume. Do you have to finish properly killing him? It says assassinate. Objective unconscious, you can kill them from the pause screen. Ow. Wait, zoom out. I think they're still in space. No? Did you pick him up? You picked him up. Okay. Okay. How do I... Wonderful UI. Fine. Wonderful UI. Have I talked about how great the UI is? Redock the ship and you can kill him then. Alright, um... Cyrus the Mild Cold says, Felis Catus. Wait, I'm gonna read this. Is your taxonomic nomenclature an endothermic quadruped carnivore by nature? Your visual, olfactory, and auditory senses contribute to your hunting skills and natural defenses. What? Okay! Something about cats? Right. Cats! Anonymous says, if you are a 2017 remake of Brewster's Millions, where you need to spend 100 million in 30 days to get a billion, and the same rules apply, but you can't copy the first movie, how would you do it? You ever, are you familiar with Brewster's Millions? It's an old movie. Old, uh, the, uh, a classic uh, Richard Pryor joint, Yes. Right? Of course I know Brewster's Millions. He, he gets a huge inheritance. Oh, is that the data poem? Well, sorry, I don't remember every single thing that happened in TNG. <laughs> the cat thing was Data's poem about his cat. Mm -hmm. All right, Brewster's Millions was a movie where Richard Pryor inherited a ton of money. Yeah. But in order to get the full money, uh, it was like, you know, uh, $500 million, Yeah. He had to spend $5 million. And in, were, in a week. So or, many days. And well, and there were all these stipulations. He couldn't tell anybody what he was doing or that he needed to get rid of the money. Was, right. Yeah. Well, yeah. and there were certain things, like he couldn't just buy, like, 18 houses. Like, there, there were certain stipulations. Well, he, he couldn't make an investment. Like, the houses, if he bought houses, they would be worth money. Right. And he couldn't give any give it any away. Like, he couldn't just give $5 million to charity. Yeah. Like, he needed to spend it on things. So, yeah. And so there were all these stipulations with the idea said in the movie... The guy said, you know, when I was a teenager, my dad uh, caught me smoking cigarettes, so he made me smoke the entire carton, and I never wanted to smoke any again. Uh -huh. And so if I'm going to bequeath you this so much money, I want you to hate spending money. <laughs> right? And it's, you know, it's it's one of the a fine premise for a movie. What, what do you do, right? What do you do now? I don't know. The part really... The well, if you can't do what you do in the movie, I don't know. The, the movie solution was brilliant. He went into politics. And he just spent all that money on a campaign. And the campaign was, don't vote for me. 
That's right. Well, yeah, no, he he found a bunch of really clever ways, yeah, right, around, right, right, which is nice. But yes, and and learn and learned a lesson about friendship and spending money. <laughs> so, I, I have to think about it. This is not something I thought about how to do before. So I, <laughs> I, this isn't something that you just thought of? That right. You know? I do not have a ready-made answer for you. Really? On how I would get rid of $100 million just like that. Donate it all to Hillary Clinton. But you can't donate it. <laughs> That's true. You can't, you can't <laughs> donate it. You can't, you couldn't, you can't buy, you, yeah, nothing for it. Like, there's all, there's all these stipulations which make it you know, logical, but. I get rid of something. I'm gonna get rid of my shotgun. I don't need a shotgun. We're gonna move you this dash. Right. I think I Incognitolin says, never trust democracy on the internet, Jack. From your, your Lego stream. P.S. <laughs> Uh huh. Feverishly in f feverish yeah. Feverishly filleted my infrequently fallid phallus. PPS something something DC Universe Online something something you fucks. Uh, you know I, I I'm a sucker for for doing what you guys want to see and you know I didn't want to you know because because I this was the game that I was playing I was playing Heat Signature, but. As we're discovering right now, I understand that this isn't necessarily the best game to stream. As as it turns out, it's really hard for us to fucking see. I can only imagine what they're seeing. Uh, so I wanted I wanted to give people an option: new game, a game that you know that I will only play with the chat. Yeah. Because I have uninstalled it. Still, it is still uninstalled, or you know. Lego sorting, which was a kind of a joke, half joke, but y'all, y'all motherfuckers took it seriously. All right, what's the objective here? Okay, we have to steal what's in that crate. A lot of guards. A lot of guards in this one. How are we gonna handle this? What a weird-looking ship. Yeah. Shit. Um. Brown Adam Sandler says, I was just thinking about Pre-Rec and its viewers and the thought poured in my mind. Do you guys have any fans who are not RLM fans first? Apologies if this has been discussed. I have no way of knowing what you guys were fans of first. I, I presume there are some. Uh, but I, I have to imagine the vast majority of people who watch Pre-Rec were familiar with RLM ahead of time. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I would also assume that. Motherfucker. I, I was hoping to ghost this one. But I guess you're going to die now, people. I hope you're comfortable with that. Well, no, they're alerted. Invest all the money in Bitcoin and wait a week. Bitcoin has a tendency to go up in value. The end, and that's an investment, so you could you can't do it. You can invest. You just have to lose the money for the Brewster's Million thing. Oh sure. You can invest in something that fails and lose all the money, but you can't invest and make a profit. Oh shit. John 1089, I'm reading your tip, and I'm not even, you know what? I reserve the right to not read any tip. And you know, you know, you're not saying anything that's offensive. You're just saying something that's completely wrong. And I disagree with it. Uh. Okay, so here's the alarm. Someone saw a body. 
I, I, I wasn't. I was sloppy and cleaning up my bodies, and someone. Oh, okay, so then, then it goes up. Yep. All right. So now I have. Oh shit. Now I have to get out of here. That's okay. What's your goal? Uh, so my only goal was to steal the thing, and I already stole the thing. But so you now just need to walk, jump out that window. Yeah, yeah. But there's a little, there's some money here. I'm gonna take. I don't know where you are. Oh, there you are. The, the really bad UI. Um, I can use my gun to get out of here. Yes, yes, I can. Whoa. Got it. Bye. I have a straw pole, which people found first. A straw pole on what? When? RLM or us, which, which came first. Oh, so. sure. Oh, no, I, I, I can only assume 98% yeah. Yeah. <laughs> knew of us through RLM first. Okay. Well, so yeah. Here's here. So here is this. This is a roguelike, right? Every ship is procedurally generated, and here's where we get to how you progress in the game. We are currently on this little satellite. Okay. And these are all the territories all around us. What's your goal? Uh, your goal is to, I think, get all of these, is liberate all of the areas, but choosing new areas gets you. Um, Gets you new stuff. Like this gives you grenade launcher. Ooh, concussive grenade launchers. That's easy. that's interesting. High capacity shields. Rechargeable crash beam. I don't even know what that is. Super shotguns. Chad, it looks like you can zoom in when you're on a ship. Can you zoom in here too? Yeah. Okay. So you can zoom in and out. Uh, the issue is the text never gets any larger. Yep. We'll get some high capacity key corners. <clears throat> so now that we've unlocked a new station, there's also a different different kinds of missions that are unlocked. And so now there's bloodless missions, which give you a monetary bonus if you can do a mission without killing anyone. Mm -hmm. Later, as you unlock more and more of these stations, there's a whole big old list of different missions that you can take. And then for each um, for each character you are, because all of, you know, like right now, what character am I even? What's my name? Octans Nightly. If I can collect uh, two or one hundred and sixty dollars, I can go on my personal mission, which is basically like the end boss for this character. Yeah, and then I can retire and you know grab a new character, or if I die, I can grab a new character. So there's a, there's a lot of little things to do, but this is the basis of it. Like unlock more equipment so you can do more cool shit on the ships. Okay. But right now I'm, I'm okay with my weapons. They're not great, but. We can, uh, bloodless cause. Fuck that. I'm gonna steal something and kill a motherfucker. <clears throat> hey, Rich, what are your favorite Nirvana songs? Also, do a flip, says the Blue Prism. I, I can't do a flip. I, um, yeah, I wouldn't recommend it. Oddly enough, I, I don't really like uh, Smells Like Teen Spirit all that much. Sure. Lithium, uh, poly, dumb... Uh, something in the way is one I really love. Okay. Um, Are you an in utero fan? I I'm I'm album dumb. I know song I I know, I know songs they did, but which was on which album that I I lost track of all. That. I don't know. 
Uh, they didn't write it, but uh, Lake of Fire from Unplugged. Fantastic. There's just a ton of good Nirvana songs, and it's <laughs> it's hard to to rank them. Sure. Jay Fresk 2 says, I demand more Freddie Williams on Best of the Worst. I saw him at Baltimore Comic Con last weekend, and he said he would love to come back. Also, Jack, Josh... Oh, also Jack, Josh Dysart said, thank you for being a Harbinger fan. Oh, well, great. Uh, we have... Fuck. We have very little control over whether or not Freddie comes onto the show. Uh, also... Uh, he is a professional comic book artist and is, I'm sure, busy as fuck. So. Anonymous says, hey guys, fun house, game streaming, group of friends. Got asked about lonely viewers watching because it feels like hanging with buds of their own. How do you feel about RLM prereq viewers doing this? Watch this for whatever reason you want to watch this for. <laughs> it's offensive. Oh, uh, no, I'm sorry. If you're watching us for that reason, then don't. <laughs> no, then go away. Right? Who cares why you guys watch us? Are you having a good time? Ghost of Renfield. Renfield? What is the Dracula character? Renfeld or Renfield? Renf uh, Renf I, I, Ren I, I, always, I always get confused with that IE German thing. I've always pronounced it Renfield, but I could be wrong. Yeah. So, how about that? Uh, it says, hi dudes, in Star Trek, Spock, Data, Hologram Doctor, and Seven of Nine are all cut off from their humanity and asking what it means to be human. What do you, what do you think was the most interesting character and or was best acted? Spock's the most iconic. Uh, Sp Spock, the data probably did the understanding humanity thing better. Sure. I don't think Spock ever asked what it meant to be human. Spock was like, why would you want to be human? <laughs> yeah, Spock knew what it was to be human and didn't much care for it. Spock is the opposite of data. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Spock is half human. And he wants nothing to do with his human half. Data is quite clearly not human, and he desperately wants to be. Yeah. They're 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 actually polar opposites, despite the similarities in them being smart and and thinking with logic. It's just in Data's case, it's because he has to. <laughs> right. <laughs> Can I go on my personal mission now? Seven of Nine? Eh, she was on that show because she had tits. She wasn't a, wasn't a terrible character, all said and done, but... Seven of Nine? The fan service was so blatant, I, it, it was distracting. It was always distracting. She's a sexy Borg. You like the Borg, right? You like blondes, right? Here's a sexy Borg. And even though they did do good things with her character, I could never get past that. It's just I'm not gonna so mind. so blatant. Right? I don't disagree with you, but I don't mind. <laughs> Jerry Ryan is a good... Yes, I'm not saying she was terrible. I'm just saying the blatantness of why she was on that show was always... It was a constant distraction for me. Uh, sure. Uh, it wasn't much for me. I am. Uh... Well, and also, like, they actually did start doing stuff with her character. Oh, sure. And, sure. you know, like, we got some interesting storylines out of her. And so, yeah, I think the good of Seven of Nine outweighs the a hot lady in a cat suit 
<laughs> Which again, I'm perfectly okay with. Okay, so this is a timed mission and it's on a big ass ship. This is like a boss mission for my character. Like, like seven or nine, that was so blatant, it was insulting to my intelligence. Sure. Uh, I can be with you there. Like, I know what you're doing. Don't act like you're not doing it. Right? So you can, you, how did that teleport? Now, like, when I grab the key from the other room, is there a range to that? Is it with, does it have to be within the circle around you or something, or? Um, I don't exactly know. I, it has to be on the floor, I think. Okay. And so, like, I can't grab the key off of the enemy unless I'm close to them. Oh, and these guys all have shields. Oh, fuck. I am not prepared for this mission. Jesus Christ. Well, I have a really good exit as soon as I can get to the exit. But I'm probably gonna die on this mission. Okay. I'm sorry, Twitch Evan69. You missed that conversation. I I don't feel like having it again. We we already talked about discovery. Sure did. I'm I'm not particularly enamored of it. It's everything I thought it was gonna be. Pay two dollars? Can we talk about it again? Oh, that's kind of rude. No, because I refuse. I, I, I retain the right to not read any tip, and I'm, I'm done talking about discovery. I am done. That's fair, Rich. Yeah, yeah. You don't have to talk about discovery if you don't want to. Say anonymous. No, I'm not talking about it. I'll read. I'll read your PS though, anonymous. It says Jack, how is the diet going? Uh, I'm on. I'm, I'm on track. I'm on track diet wise. I gotta get out of here. I'm just gonna. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just fail I'm failing this mission. I'm, we're gonna cancel. We're gonna cancel the mission. How do I cancel? Uh, chat, you can you can donate a fifty or a one thousand dollar tip that mentions discovery. I'll gladly accept your tip and not read it. <laughs> you think Rich is bluffing? <laughs> That's the question. Do you think Rich is bluffing? He is not. Because um, I'm gonna say it's gonna be all stream, and I'm gonna be saying the same fucking thing all of stream. Course, yeah, we yeah. don't. I don't need to do that. Get here earlier. It's just a random ship. I wonder if I can jump on that. Oh, only 19 seconds. Nope. Uh, my diet's going very well. I, uh, you know, I, I cheated a little bit on Sunday. I had some. I had some beer on Sunday. And Sunday's a, a, an on diet day, so I should not have had any beer. Um, uh, and the tough part is I didn't. Um, my diet is still like going well as far as weight loss this week is concerned. Mm -hmm. And so I didn't learn a valuable lesson there, which is like, ah, oh, you can have a beer every once in a while. Sure, go ahead. It won't affect the diet. That's the wrong lesson. Because I need to be on diet if I want to lose weight, right? Yeah. So, but it's it's nice to have the wiggle room. But so yeah, no, diet's going very well. I'm still on it, still on pace to lose a bunch of weight for Christmas, which is nice. All right. So we'll see. We'll see if it keeps up. <laughs> 